get through the formalities, a warm welcome one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Luciano. I bring to you guys game number 22 out of 64. This is match number 4 out of 6 from Group C. This match is between Denmark and Australia. There's Australia's There's Australia's uh, national anthem. Yes, that uniform you see Australia wearing is my imagination. What could be like, uh, according to their flag, their real uniform, believe it or not, is colors from Brazil, which I kind of find it weird. I mean, if the game would have had their real uniforms, yeah. Have their and here's the Den, the Denmark national anthem. I'll be like, yeah, have them wear it. But the game, this game, does not have their real. Uniform. This game does not have a lot of the national teams. Well, here's another team they don't have their uniform from Denmark. So look at the way I created it with a big white cross, according to the flag. So I kind of made that kind of unique. I tried to make Australia similar to their flag as well. That's why you see like a red X and the white cross kind of like in there. So I try to make it similar. Of course I'll prefer the real uniforms over what I created. But the game doesn't so I had to use my little imagination under the edit screen. Because they're, they're, uh, the uniform to give games them that it's not real it's really it it really looks dull as hell it does it looks so dull what i created is about 10 times better and here we kick off is already underway <clears throat> This match is extremely important for either one to win because um, in the previous match, France did not take care of business versus Peru. Peru had a golden chip. And here's Denmark going up 1 0. Here's the situation in this group. Denmark won the first game versus Peru, so they already have three points. They are currently in first place in this group. If Denmark wins this game, they will clinch first place. Australia, though, will not be dead since they got a draw in the first game versus France. But if, if Australia ties this game, then um, everybody kind of will still be alive. Even I mean, everybody would be alive regardless, even if Denmark wins this game. But Denmark would clinch first place. Now, if they do not, if they tie, every, uh, I think three or the all. I think let me see, Iran with one. Everybody, everybody would be alive. Everybody would be alive anyway. But France is still alive. But France would not be alive for first place if Denmark wins this game. They would be alive just to get through at second place. And the game is already one-one. That's the third well, own goal of the event. tournament. It was an honest attempt to help out. I'm not sure it's if it's the third or the fourth. But I don't know how that went in. Let's see. Oh, the Denmark player. Yeah, Denmark player deflected in. Look at that. Look at real closely, folks. The Denmark player trying to yep, try to play defense. Causes his team a little bit of harm. Lady Luck comes to Australia. That is Australia's first goal of the tournament because in game one they tied France 0 0. So, with this result, the result is it stands like this now. It's Denmark with four points. 
Um, France in second place with two points with a goal differential of zero. Australia in third place with two points as well with a goal differential at zero. But the reason why France is in second then um, the reason why actually no um, check that France and Australia would be tied for second place with two points because because they both have one goal each the France Peru game was was a 1-1 finish the same score as this but this game still has a lot of ball to roll through. The France Peru game was 0 0 at the half. Peru went up 1 0, gave France a scare. France got a tying goal late, which kind of kept their hopes alive. If France would have had only one point going into game three, they still would have been alive, but uh, very slim chances. And here's another goal by Denmark. Denmark goes back in front. With this result, Denmark is in first place in the group. Straight, I mean, clear cut first place. They would clinch first place. Denmark still has to play. Per, um, Denmark has to play France in the final game. So if Denmark was to tie this game, like if Australia was to come back again, uh, and Denmark plays France, France, if France was to beat Denmark, which they're very capable of, France is supposed to be the best team in this group. France would win the group. That's if France goes into the match with Denmark with only four points. But if Denmark wins this game, Denmark would already clinch first place. That's the situation in Group C. Iran, for them to advance, I mean, not Iran, um, Peru, for them to advance, they would have to beat Australia in Game 3. That would put them at 4. And then they would have to hope that, like, either Denmark wins... Or France just ties, because France only has two points. A tie, another tie would give France three points. With uh, no wins, no losses, but three ties, that would be three points. Now, France can um, can they advance if they only tie? Let me see. If France ties, there would be three points. Denmark would have seven if this result stands. Uh, meaning that Australia would have lost this game. Yes, France can advance with a tie as long as Australia does not win this game and then Australia ties Peru in the last game that's how France can advance with a tie that's an odd way of advancing France can advance with three points if if Australia loses this game and Peru ties Australia in the third game that's how can France advance with the tie because France has done nothing but tie so far in this World Cup. Two ties after two games. A 0-0 tie and a 1-1 tie. 0-0 tie was versus Australia. The 1-1 tie was versus Peru. Peru lost to Denmark in the first game. Peru nearly beat France in the second game. So France is in the France can win the group if, if Australia ties this game.
because then then Mark would only have four points. Now, if Australia comes back and ties this game at two, then after this match, Australia would be in second place because even though both France and Australia would have a zero goal differential, Australia would have more goals scored, two apiece, two goals scored compared to France's one goal scored because France only scored one goal in the second game and if Australia ties this game they'll have two goals scored in the World Cup and to France's one even though the differential is both teams at zero but um, let's see what happens here in, this, in, this, in the rest of this game the rest of the cup the rest of the groups group a is in uh, group a we have right now as it stands we have uruguay with six points russia in second with three points differential of pl uh, no egypt in second place with three points with a differential of plus two russia in third place with three points with the same three points but a differential of plus one instead and saudi arabia with zero points a differential of negative seven in Group B, we have first place Spain with four points, with the differential of plus four. Uh, then we have Morocco in second place with three points, with a differential of plus one. And Portugal in third place with three points, with a differential of minus three. And a um, Iran in fourth place still mathematically alive with one point in a differential of minus two that's the situation in group b if the results stand in this group with the, if if the results stay with with this current result denmark would be in six points with a differential of plus two for first place with six points and first place clinched most importantly first place clinched if this result stands second place would be france with two points with a goal differential of zero third place would be um let's see Peru is minus one with one goal scored. That's what has to be done there. No question about it. It would be a tie for third place between Peru and Australia if this result stands. I know France right now is rooting for Australia to get that second goal because if it do if Denmark goes into the final game with only four points, France can win the group by winning that match. It's a pass. And Offside. Offside. Australia's, yeah, Australia's attack just got halted by an offside the call. Difference. Folks, if you're watching this broadcast, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I am new at this. You probably can tell. So don't give me a dislike for any reason. I'm just starting. I just started doing this like a week ago. Or two weeks ago, that is. I will bring you guys more videos. I'll get better at it, what I'm trying to say, Peter, they have to in the future. The of and Here comes Denmark, and, and they the break players. away, and the goalie blocks the shot, keeping Australia's hope to tie the game at bay. Yes, it would have. <laughs> Denmark wins this game. Denmark can rest 
their whole starting lineup in game three and that like and uh they can they can relax in game three they don't have to even tie or win game three of course that would pretty much give france the second place in a very sexy matchup in the round of 16 versus argentina if argentina wins group d Australia ties the game, folks. Drama. Drama. Late in the second half. With six minutes to go. And Australia ties the game. They give France hope of still winning this group. Besides them only having two ties up to this point. With this result... Denmark remains in first place in the group, but they do not have first place clinched. Now they would have to play to, they would have to get at least a draw in the third game to just to get first place in the group. Because first place in the group means a lot in this situation. It means that they would avoid playing Argentina in the round of 16. But at the same token, you would have a semi-final match with Brazil in the semi-final if Brazil does not lose, you know, up to that point. So it's like pick your poison. Have a round of 16 with Argentina or be, in, be potentially in the same bracket with Brazil. That is if Brazil wins Group E. Now, if Brazil does not win Group E, Brazil would be in the same bracket with Argentina if Argentina wins their group, by the way. So either way, it's like. So this result has Denmark in first place, but well, either result would have had them in first place. But the other, if them winning would have had them clinched first place. Like they couldn't fall. No, they couldn't even fall to second. With this result, though, however, um, Denmark does not clinch first place they would still remain in first place but with this result they can actually get eliminated depending what happens in game three if they were to lose to who they who they play next if they were to lose to france and uh and if peru was to beat australia by a certain amount of margin denmark can actually be eliminated so Denmark's goal differential is only a plus one because they only won game one by one goal. So that's the situation in Group C. And that's how the game ended. Right now they're showing the highlights of the games, best moments, with Melhores Momentos. And uh, that was a Portu Brazilian Portuguese translation. Um, I will see you all next time. Have a blessed uh, Thursday. See you all next time. And um, take care. Stay tuned for video number 23, which will be the start of the second round of fixtures in the group D, which is the group of death, which would be Argentina versus Croatia is our next game. And then the game after that would be uh, the powerhouses of Africa, Nigeria, versus uh, Iceland. So have a good one. See you all next time. Peace. Luciano signing out.